But if we're done installing everything, we can start uh, fetching the trophy resource first. Um, and I can't speak and type in uh, parallel. <laughs> um, the reason I know that URL uh, by um, yes by heart is that it's a friendly so-called friendly URL um, and git clone is you know it's cloning it to your computer and this um, thing contains everything needed to build the data needed to run our servers service services afterwards. It will take time. I don't know why it's not so slow. Otherwise, I would just copy what I already have. Um, yeah. Um, and um, it really contains everything. We go um, into it in seconds. But let me explain you something. Um, about SSH beforehand. For that, I will create a new window. And oh my god, it's slow. <laughs> um, SSH uh, you can execute on, on Windows or whatever you use. It's now supported by all operating systems, I know. So Linux, Mac, Windows. And SSH, if you um, want to SSH into a uh, server you can pass this h and then the username you have on the server you have an own um, user on the server which is for example my name then the ad you know from email addresses and then the name of the server the host name for example example Hong Kong, um, or whatever and this is the thing command if you hit enter it will try to connect it. It will not work, of course, because it's just an example. But it will, the, it will be the command you will use when connecting to the server. Uh, based on SSH, I wrote my own insulate, uh, own scripts with I call login and then the name of the server I have given. Um, this also uses SSH underneath, and this is specific to my workflow because it directly co uh, connects to my um, password. So it also asks for the password, and um, yeah. Uh, so this is the way I work. I work by making scripts and uh, to make life easy for me. Okay, if we done. We can execute ls minus l minus l, and then we see trophy server resources. Then we're going to cd into it, and now we can make uh, use of a feature, which also when Microsoft copied over to Microsoft Windows PowerShell, which is called auto completion of comments. So I t t or file names. I type for example all the name tr uh, the characters T and R and hit tab and it's then auto uh, completed and we hit enter and now we are in the repository and we have this content um, I would recommend not to um, uh, not to execute this the code here we have in here on your production server. I would recommend to build the data needed to run the production environment um, on your development machine, on your personal computer. Um, except if you plan to automate the whole thing, but um, now you won't do that. And now I also don't do that. I will move it uh, to my second screen. We don't uh, need it. We just, I will also just explain uh, the basic structure of it uh, using my graphical user interface. 